to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be moving the orchid room. So, as you can see, we're here. Um, it's quite a lot to get done. So, I'm just going to just record some of the process and hope that you guys are interested in seeing it. So, I think I'm going to start off with just flip you around. So I'm going to just take all of the orchids off of the shelves um, and just like put them in the lounge and then I'm going to take the shelves down and move the shelves over to the new place and then I can have the shelves like all set up so if I need to move the shelves around based on lighting or um, just kind of move them around, shuffle them around, I can just do that without the orchids on and then I'm going to transport the orchids over. So my first job is getting all of the orchids off of the shelves and into the lounge. My boyfriend's at work today, so hopefully he doesn't come in mid-effort um, and see hundreds of orchids scattered all around the house, which is not going to be necessarily the most calming thing for him. But yeah, we're just going to take them all off shelves and go from there and figure it out. Um, and I'm just going to record the process as we go along. So I'm just like loading up this crate each time and I've got a few smaller crates that I'm using for my like little cups, um, the orchids in smaller pots. Um, so I'm just keeping going with this really, it's taken me quite a long time. We're sort of two shelves down, quite a lot still to go. And no breakages so far. Uh, this seems to be quite a successful way of doing it. I'm dreading having to do all this in reverse and get them in cars, but you know, just take it one step at a time. And if we need to be done over a week or so, that's fine. We've got time to do it. So I'm just going to get on and keep going and fill up the whole lounge with orchids. Just going to show you while I'm unloading. These are my. Um, Phalaenopsis Mano Black crossed with Shilariana babies and they've grown quite a lot and the leaves are just this gorgeous silver colour which is just beautiful with a little bit of speckling on. I just think it's literally like a grey colour, it's so interesting. And these are the tubs that I'm using for the small cups so I can get like around 10 small cups in there and because they're like tightly wedged, they're not slipping at all, so I think this will be quite good for in the car as well. Okay, so I think we've passed the limit of what I can actually fit into the lounge. Um, so we're gonna rethink our plan. because um, this is only about half of the orchids. Um, so I've done three shelves, so I still need to do another three, well, two full shelves, then the orchid wardrobe, which is 
probably another two shelves so i i'm pretty tired so i think i'll probably do that another day so i think for today what we're going to concentrate on is getting those other shelves down taking them over and setting them up and ferrying this lot of orchids across so hopefully i can do this in two or three days um yeah so i'll show you what the orchid room looks like now so pretty empty sorry there's bits of leaf everywhere um so i've still got to do this shelf and then the oncidium shelves and got to see all the fowls on the top so all of those and the next shelf down and then in the wardrobe as well so yeah um so i'm gonna take down the shelves that i've emptied is three shelves and take them across in my car and set them up So I started this at about 8 o'clock this morning and it's now about 11 o'clock so it's only taken about 2 hours to do all this so I think that's pretty good going. I am pretty tired now though. <laughs> okay so I think we're ready to start taking the shovel apart. so one shelf is down it's got to do this one next because they're the easiest to disassemble and they're the Hartley's direct wire racking and then the Ikea I think it's Mulig shelving which I don't think they do anymore um, it requires Allen keys which is totally fine I've got a set of them I don't know if I still have the ones that it came with but I've got loads but um, I guess the issue here is can I just fit it in my car like this because it would be a lot easier like the wire racks are super easy to put together but this one was a little bit um, more time consuming so I guess I'll just see if I can fit it in the car the wire racks are super like they flat pack really well because um, the poles come in two halves so they fit in really easily so we'll see I'll keep going I'll, I'll be right back that's all down and you can actually see my beautiful MV tannins in bloom for the first time um, I showed you my other one last time but um, this one is even more beautiful its spikes lasted a lot longer than the younger one that I got from class N. so uh, that shelves down need to get the rest into my car and then we'll make the first trip over to the new place so just about managed to get all the shelving in the car uh, no room for other people I'm not entirely sure this is okay, but it's not going anywhere, so um, see you in a bit. We're going to drive over to the new place now and I'll put the shelves up and show you the conservatory. So this is the conservatory. It's raining at the moment, so just show you around. Blinds are broken. They're a bit gross anyway, but... They'll help protect from the sun for now, instead of shade netting. Full of birds in the corner. These are my quaker parrots and my agenda. I um, was looking after them until I could get a face that we could actually keep them. Um, I've just started putting the um, stands up. and realised that I've completely forgotten the clips to go with them, so I'm going to have to go home. So while I'm doing that, I might as well grab some orchids as well. The other rack I managed to get all in one in the car, so that job is already done. So I'm going to go home and get some more orchids and the clips that I've forgotten, and we will be back. Okay, so I came back home just for the clips for the wire racking, and I'm also going to take some orchids over with me. So I've got some um, boxes um, with lids and crates that they're already in so I'm just gonna see like what I can actually fit in my car and just 
do what I can. So I'm going to take some over with me now and then it'll just stay in the car until I've got the racks up for them. So I'll give it a go. So I made a dent. That's where the dent is and that's all in my car now. So I'm just going to show you how I've loaded it up. So in the boot, I stacked a few plants. So we've got the plants in the container with the lid on and some there hopefully they'll be okay the only thing i am worried about is this particular batch but they're like locked in place inside the lid there so as long as i'm not breaking sharply it should be okay so in the car it smells amazing so on the passenger seat i've got um, another crate of plants just under there and then some crates wedged on top and then we've got a crate wedged behind here and they are all seat belted in a seat belted in laundry basket full of plants there and we've got my giant cattleya at the back there and my mv tannins and i've like wedged them in really tightly with brown paper they don't look like they're going anywhere. So I guess the only way to test it is to um, get driving and... Oh, better strap this one in first, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's not going anywhere. I think it'll be okay. Okay, so I'll see you on the other side. Pray for me. So we're here and everything stayed pretty okay. I'm a little bit concerned about the cattleya at the back. I'm going to go and have a look. Has hardly moved at all, actually. So we are okay. So I'm going to leave these in the car for a bit and get unloading for the racks and get them all up before I unload these. I'm halfway up and I realised there was quite a lot of mould on the windows. Sorry about the noise from Sprite. It's only because I'm talking. Um, yeah, so I've spent a long time cleaning and I'm just putting the shelves up now. Um, quite exciting. Yeah. Beginning to take shape and look quite nice, I think. Yeah, ignore the remnants of flooring. I'm using them as mats, so I've cut some mats for underneath the racks. So those racks are up. And I'm just going to go and get the orchids. First casualty, we lost a bud on my Cattleya Mont Elegante. Uh, this, I think, happened when it got caught in my hair. It's got a lot of happy sap. Really frustrating, but we still got four. It's just annoying because we did have five. It's all in from the car. Let's get unpacking. Okay, so part one of the unpacking is uh, done. I've still got two more racks. Um, and some other bits to bring over. It's a nice windowsill here. Um, it gets quite shaded. It's only like this half of the conservatory that gets a lot of sun. But I'm going to have to just see how things go. And rack here. Yeah, so I'm just going to, I'm still going to keep my artificial lights on these racks. Um, and I've also kept some LEDs on the lower racks of these. So yeah, I'm just going to um, go and grab some more orchids. I'm really wanting to move that whole batch that I got from the lounge today because I'm just in the lounge at the moment. Uh, so I'll go home and get another car load and then come back and chill again. So that is all of the rest of the orchids that I'd pulled down into the lounge moved over. In the end, it was only one more car journey, um, but my boyfriend was home at that point, so we also loaded up his car. So it would have been like two more car journeys. So I don't think that's too bad, but I'm pretty exhausted now. It's six o'clock, so I haven't stopped um, since eight o'clock in doing this. And we've got another round of this to go to move the Oncidium types over. Just show you the shelving arrangement quickly. 
and I think I'll leave it at this for part one and do the second uh, part in another instalment video. So thanks for watching my moving day today and I hope you found it interesting. I'll see you guys all later. Bye!